I'm painting a girl. Yeah, basically I'm painting a girl. Um, uh, so what I do is I just go around Instagram and look for interesting photos to paint and I just paint them. I, I chose this one in particular. It's like one of, one of the photos of the Instagram account girl of girlfriend, the at, at leisure brand. Yeah, it's of this girl just posing with her with her nice outfit. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I've actually actually transferred to digital art. Like, uh, I produced a bunch a bunch of. Um, great illustrations over there which I translated into merchandise such as stickers and tote bags and t-shirts when you're when you're on your iPad when you're on your procreate doing digital art so much like I think you kind of lose your touch or um, I don't know how to refer to it but I think that somehow you still have to to go back to traditional type of art. I mean, to we have to go back to doing things traditionally. So we have to get a feel of the paper again. <clears throat> we have to get a feel of the pencil, the paintbrush and the paint. And I know, reset things, reset your creativity. It kind of sucks that, you know, since I'm currently working full time, Kinda sucks that I'm only able to do this on weekends. Well, you know. Um, so besides besides this, I work as a full time UI UX designer. I I do I design mobile apps, websites, and other graphic related stuff like for social media and for print for the company I work for. And <clears throat> after which, uh, I also have like a, a four times a week CrossFit training. Like um, I do this program where I do like a competitive program, competitive training program. Yeah, because um, I'll be joining competitions towards the end of the year. So I'm training for that and then, you know, I have to do like chores and stuff also. So yeah, it's kind of, it, it, you know, at the end of the day, I don't have time anymore to do this. Or if I want to do it, I'd have to sleep late, which is not really good if, if you're an athlete or if you want to keep your job or do well at your job. Thing. So uh, basically, I already have um, like a preference of of stuff I want to paint. Like uh, usually, I'd like to paint girls, girls in particular, like making portraits. But you know, now I'm like into painting the whole body. And yeah, the the theme I guess also depends on my mood. Like right now, I'm into <clears throat> right now I'm obsessed with like sportswear so i'm obsessing over this um sportswear brand at least sure brand if that's what you call it and yeah i'm drawing like models from their instagram account well you know uh basing from my experience since i live in the philippines i think it would be awesome for an artist like me living in the philippines to be able to go to um other countries that have like these amazing um these amazing um art stores because um art supplies here are kind of limited or you know if if not super limited i mean um i guess you can find like rare stuff here as well but they're gonna be super ex they're gonna be super expensive because um yeah companies have to import them from other countries so yeah, I, I guess it would be uh, awesome for for me to be able to go to other countries where 
our supplies aren't that expensive and they are complete. As you can see, um, I have these um, pans of paint over here. So basically this sheet of paper here is to test out, um, to test the color before putting them on paper. Because, you know, once I get them from the pan, once I mix them here, you know, I have no idea how much paint there would be on this brush because, you know, like, it's just dark. You don't know what it is. So if, if you try it out on this paper, you know, you'll get a preview of what color, what color it is before you put it here because <laughs> there's no way of erasing it once you put it. So you have to be careful. You have to test it out first.